In the world of cancer, we want to find a way to intercept and intervene cancer earlier on so patients don't suffer all the consequences of cancer and that maybe we could ultimately cure it. In multiple myeloma, this means intervening at the stage of smoldering multiple myeloma. And a really important study was done that was presented at ASH, the Aquila Clinical Trial, which looked at patients with high-risk smoldering multiple myeloma. So they had features that we would expect their myeloma to progress to active myeloma within the next two years. And these patients were randomized to two important arms. Arm number one was what we would do now, the standard of care, active monitoring, careful watching of their blood work every three months, doing a PET scan or CT scan or MRI scan at least once per year, and doing a bone marrow test at least every two years. The second arm was the new intervention arm of giving patients single agent daratumumab, where it was given in the typical schedule weekly for eight weeks, every other week for 16 weeks, then just once every 28 days for three years in total. And that three-year intervention was designed to see, can we improve people's outcomes by reducing the time to myeloma becoming active and possibly even keeping them alive longer. And sure enough, that's what the study showed us. The progression-free survival was considerably improved in those patients that had single-agent daratumumab